Hello friends, welcome to Environmental Science, Unit 2, Biodiversity and its Conservation. Here in this video, we are going to see the definition, types of biodiversity, value of biodiversity and biogeographic classification of India. Introduction. The great variety of life on earth has provided everything which is required for the man over the thousands of years and this diversity of living creatures forms a support system for human life and the diversity of life on earth is so great that if we use it sustainably we can go on developing new products from the biodiversity for the many generations and this can happen only if we manage the biodiversity as a precious resource and prevent the extinction of species definition of biodiversity or biological diversity a biodiversity is or biodiversity means the variety of life on earth the variety of life on earth uh, is called as the biodiversity and it includes all organisms species and populations in the earth and the biological diversity or biodiversity is that part of nature which includes the differences in genes among the various individuals of a species and differences in the variety and richness of all the plant and animal species at the different regions of the country and the world and the differences in the various types of ecosystems both terrestrial and aquatic with defined area so hence the diversity here biological diversity here means the differences in genes of a species and differences in the variety of richness of all plants and animals and the differences in the various types of ecosystems now on genetic diversity uh, here uh, each member of any animal or plant species differs widely from other individuals in its genetic makeup so the genetic makeup uh, brings the difference between individuals and the different combination of genes this is because of the different combination of genes uh, that give the specific characteristics to every individual for example each human being is very different from other human being uh, this is except in case of identical twins where there is no difference in the genetic makeup so identical twins will appear um, same uh, in the morphology also in the genetic makeup and the genetic variability here the genetic variability is very much essential for a healthy breeding population healthy breeding population uh, of a species so here we have to remember one thing um, generally it is advisable to avoid marriage with the close relatives this is in order to uh, have a healthy offspring so that is the uh, uh, truth behind the uh, behind this thing uh, this is uh, because of uh, genetic variability and if the number of breeding individuals is reduced the genetic diversity will also be reduced and eventually this reduction can lead to the extinction of species the diversity in wild species forms the gene pool from which our crops and domestic animals have been developed over thousands of years here the wild species means so those species which grow in the natural condition like forest without any human disturbance and this difference in the genetic makeup is called so these differences in the genetic makeup is called the genetic diversity and by a modern technology the wild relatives of crop plants the wild relatives means um, those plants um, which grow in the wild area um, which have the similar characteristics of the cultivated crop plants so these wild relatives of crop plants are used to create new varieties of more productive crops and to breed better domestic animals and the modern biotechnology manipulates genes for developing better types of medicines and a variety of industrial products next uh, species diversity 
the number of species so the total number of uh, species of plants and animals that are present in a region constitutes its species diversity and this diversity is seen both in the natural ecosystems and also in the agricultural ecosystems here the natural undisturbed tropical forests have a much greater species richness so the natural tropical forests have a great uh, species richness than the um, plantation forest developed by forest department for timber production a natural forest ecosystem provides a large number of non-wood products that the local people depend such as the fruit fuel wood fodder fiber gum resin and medicines the timber plantations do not provide a large variety of goods that are essential for the local consumption in the long term the economically sustainable returns the economically sustainable returns are greater from only the natural forest than the plantation forests and thus the value of natural forest with all its species richness is much greater than a plantation forest so the areas that are rich in a species diversity are called as the hotspots of diversity ecosystem diversity there are a large variety of different ecosystems on the earth with the distinctive interlinked species based on the differences in the habitat the ecosystem diversity can be described for a specific geographical regions or a country a state or a taluka and the distinctive ecosystems include the landscapes such as forests grasslands deserts mountains etc as well as the aquatic ecosystems such as the rivers lakes and the sea each region also has a man modified areas such as a farmland or uh, grazing pastures an ecosystem is referred to as natural when it is relatively undisturbed by human activities or it is called as modified when it is changed to other types of uses such as farmland or urban areas ecosystems are most natural only in the wilder conditions or in the wilder wilderness areas if um, natural ecosystems are overused or misused their productivity eventually decreases and they are then said to be degraded so india is exceptionally rich in the rich in its ecosystem diversity the value of biodiversity can be discussed under the following heads the consumptive use value the local communities or the people of local community uh, directly utilize the timber food uh, fuel wood and fodder and the biodiversity held in the ecosystem provides the forest dwellers with all their daily needs food building materials fodder medicines and a variety of other products Uh, these people know the qualities and different uses of wood from different species of trees and they also collect a large number of local fruits roots and plant materials that they use as food construction material and medicines and the fisher folk or the fishermen are highly dependent on fish and know where and how to uh, where and how to catch the fish and other edible aquatic animals and plants and these are the consumptive use value of biodiversity the genetic diversity enables the scientists and farmers to develop or produce better crops and better domestic animals through careful breeding and the biotechnologists select genes from one plant and introduce them into another plant to develop or produce better varieties of crops or to develop the better livestock the pharmacist identify new drugs from the raw materials of plant or animal products biodiversity in the wild relatives of crop plants is the basis for developing better crops for the agricultural scientist and biodiversity is a rich storehouse biodiversity is a rich storehouse from which new products are developed by the industrialists 
and preservation of biodiversity has now become essential for industrial growth and economic development. Social values. The biodiversity has been preserved by the traditional societies as they valued it as a resource and appreciated. And they were also aware that the loss of biodiversity would be a great loss to the society and the, uh, hence they preserved it. And the consumptive and the productive value of biodiversity is closely linked to the social concerns in the traditional communities. The ecosystem people, so those people who are concerned for the ecosystem, value biodiversity as a part of their livelihood as well as through the cultural and religious sentiments. A great variety of um, crops have been cultivated in traditional agricultural systems and a range of products were grown and marketed throughout the year and acted as an insurance against the failure of one crop. And in recent years, farmers have begun to receive economic incentives to grow the cash crops for international and international markets rather than to uh, supply to the local needs. So hence, um, this has resulted in local food shortages, unemployment, and the landlessness and increased vulnerability to drought and floods. So here, the unemployment is um, uh, arises. Unemployment arises uh, because of the cash crops are usually mechanized. So uh, due to the use of uh, modern machines and uh, modern technology, uh, it uh, makes unemployment. Ethical and moral values. All forms of life have the right to exist or live on the earth. And here, man is only a small part. Man is only a small part of the earth's great family of species. There are a number of uh, uh, millions of species of which man is a small part. So hence, uh, man and we do not have the right to destroy any life forms. So there are several cultural, moral and ethical values which are associated with the sanctity of all forms of life. A certain plants, animals, birds and flowers are respected or worshipped by people and they are associated with the local culture and hence they are preserved by the people. And the Indian civilization has over several generations have preserved the nature through their local traditions. And a large number of sacred groups are preserved by the tribal people in several states of India. Here, these sacred groups around the ancient sacred sites and the temples act as the gene banks of wild plants. Aesthetic value, knowledge and appreciation of biodiversity for its own sake uh, itself is another reason to preserve it and uh, apart from killing uh, wildlife for food uh, it is important as a tourist attraction so the wildlife are important as tourist uh, attraction than they are killing for food and biodiversity is a beautiful and wonderful aspect of nature and uh, sitting in a forest or park and listening to the birds and watching a spider weaving its complex web and observing a fish feeding its food are uh, magnificent and fascinating, which gives the aesthetic sense. And moreover, the symbols from wild species, such as the lion of Hinduism, the elephant of Buddhism, and the vehicles of several gods, such as Lord Ganesh, are animals and which have been worshipped or respected for thousands of years. Valmiki begins his epic story, the Ramayana, uh, with a couplet on the unfortunate killing of a crane by a hunter and the Tulsi, which has been placed or grown at our doorsteps for centuries for worship or, or example for the aesthetic sense and the aesthetic value. The Absam value here Keeping the future possibilities or resources open for the future use is called the option value. It is uh, impossible to predict 
which of our species or the traditional varieties of crops and domestic animals will be the will be of great use in the future so we can't we can't we cannot predict it and so we have to preserve all of them as it is so to continue to improve the plant varieties and domestic livestock we need to protect the wild relatives of crop plants and animals to preserve the biodiversity we also have to preserve the traditionally used strains which are already present in crops and domestic animals the bird geography classification of india our country can be conveniently divided into 10 major regions based on the geography climate pattern of vegetation and the community of mammals birds reptiles amphibia insects and other invertebrates that live in them and here each of these regions contains a variety of ecosystems such as forests grasslands lakes rivers wetlands mountains and hills which have uh, their own uh, specific plants and animal species here the india's biographic zones the 10 zones are there they are the cold mountainous snow covered trans himalayan region of uh, ladakh the himalayan ranges and uh, valleys of kashmir himachal pradesh Uttarakhand, assam and other northeastern states third the terai the lowland where the himalayan rivers flow into the plains and the gangetic and the brahmaputra plains the thar desert and the semi-arid grassland regions of the Deccan Plateau, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu and the northeast states of India and then the western gods in Maharashtra, Karnataka and Kerala and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and then the long western and eastern coastal belt with sandy beaches, forests and mangroves. So in order to uh, memorize or uh, uh, easy uh, remembering of all the 10 places the important keywords are um, highlighted here so that you can easily remember like um, the mountainous um, the himalayan mountains and then the valleys of himalaya and then the lowland uh, rivers of uh, lowland and the rivers of uh, uh, himalaya and then gangetic of uh, and the brahmaputra the thar desert and the semi-arid um, places of the uh, Deccan Plateau, the Northeast States, the uh, Western Ghats, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and the Western and Eastern Coast. So, likewise, um, uh, these are the 10 biographic uh, zones in India. So far, in this video, under biodiversity and its conservation, we have seen the definition of biodiversity, uh, types of biodiversity, value of biodiversity and the biogeography classification of India. Thank you.